strange story took an even stranger twist. Yeah, a monster and a mouse run from a mad scientist. Ooh. Now, Wackerstein wants this monster to have Flatnutsky's brain. Olga's always bored, and that doctor's just insane. Oh, come on. The mouse and the monster. The mouse and the monster. The mouse and the monster. You know. Even hard-charging heroes and relentless villains need to take a break now and then. So let's join Chez and Mo for some air travel fun, shall we? So we sued the farmer's wife and retired to fly to come visit us, little Chezzy airline ticket enclosed. Love, your three visually impaired uncles. Hey, look, Mo, a ticket to Florida. Spanky! Like when do we split into the wild blue yondersville? Because gravity is a drag, Daddy. Oh, there's only one ticket. Chez now has a ticket to a troubling problem. What to do about Mo? Just tell a big blue simp you're going out for gumballs and don't come back for a month. <laughs> don't listen to him. He's not nice. Sneak him on the plane as luggage. Sneak him on the plane? That's nice. Yes, by packing his bags creatively. Chess is well on his way to a mo-tastic ah. vacation. Or is he? Let's find out just where those bags are going. Nighty night, Daniel. Welcome to the oh-so-exciting world of baggage handling. It's a world where only strong luggage survive. Now witness the legendary Lasagna Brother as they juggle destination tag. Making sure your luggage will always wind up someplace interesting. Someplace you're not. Well, Mo, looks like we're on our way. Mommy, the guy with the big ears is talking to his luggage. He's weird. Excuse me, sir, but my sensitive child is disturbed by the sight of a mouse talking to a bag. Like, uh, would a bag talking to a mouse make the little rug red flyboy feel better? Well, I... He's scaring me! Please, there's nothing to be scared of. It's just my friend's head. At least you make little shrimpkas a quiet shrimpkas. Put talking bag under seat. Now! And what would air travel be without the warmth, the charm, of the friendly host of the skies, the flight attendant? In the event of emergency, you are to howl like a dog and say bye-bye to your birthless lives. Thank you. Here are nuts. Ow, my eye! Eat them. Now! While I dance. That's some foil, Mo. Foil? A spanky! Thanks, Chisel. Well, you got any batteries to lick? Behold, the modern jetliner. A miracle of high-tech alloys, fiber optic electronics, and, um, stuff. These planes are so advanced they can practically fly themselves. And sometimes that's just as well. Hello? This is your friendly bus driver. Once we get past this red light, we'll be driving at an altitude of way up high. So just sit back, relax, and watch your life pass before your eyes. <laughs>
I wonder what this thing does. See what happens when you don't fasten seatbelt? This one looks interesting. <laughs> I couldn't drive a bus! <laughs> and here's the friendly cargo bay, where you'll even find the occasional household pet happily traveling. <laughs> wow, what flight would be complete without a scrumptious airline meal? Those meat tastes like leather. Your point being? <laughs> Here is barf bag. Now make room for dessert. Stress call. I think you can call it that. Hold on, everyone! I'm going to park this baby! It was the last thing I ever do! <laughs> Thus, we bid our heroes farewell, having learned the most important lesson. Flying can be fun, so long as someone else is doing it. And that's why Mo is half blender and why I'm wearing this little number. The airline mixed up our luggage. But they say I'll have my buddy back from Timbuktu any day now. And not that I'm in a hurry. Mo, how about another round of your gumball special? Coming right up, Tizaruni. Spanky!